Hi, my name is Ronan Sweeney from Quality CPR First Aid Training, and welcome to this short video, which is going to demonstrate the summative data report from a live session we did with a adult training mannequin for CPR skills. And I'm going to give you some of the feedback and the summary and break down how that data is compiled, because it's really important in understanding some key things we need to do well when performing CPR, both in training and then in a real situation for a patient. So I'll break the summary down now for you. So what we can see clearly here is that this participant did very, very well. They were practicing their quality CPR skills on an adult mannequin and scored 99%. That's a superb score, but it's interesting when you see the data that sits behind that. That score was made up of 100% for compression, so this person scored perfectly for every compression and release, 96% for ventilations, but this is a really important indicator here. This is the chest compression fraction, and, and this demonstrates the amount of time the person was on the chest during the two minutes, for example, that they were performing CPR. And Global research now tells us that that percentage really needs to be about 80% because it's linked to much higher survival rates for patients. I'm now going to move to more of the session information. This is also a vital piece of information that we're measuring here. It's called the mean no flow time. And all that simply means is the amount of time it took to go from chest compressions to delivering two ventilations to getting back on the chest again. If that pushes out to 10 seconds and beyond, it has a significant impact, in fact about a 33% negative impact on the survival for a patient. So now we know that with live feedback, we need to focus on this as one of those key indicators in terms of our own performance. I'm now going to move and have a look at the uh, compression data, and we know that this person achieved a, a mean average depth of six. 61 millimeters or 6.1 centimeters and again based on global research we now are aware that we need to attain or achieve a minimum depth of 50 or 5 or 50 millimeters or 5 centimeters because it's linked to much higher survival rates and this performance indicator here is fantastic i mentioned at one point in one of our videos that the arc guideline is a minimum rate of 100 per minute in terms of compressions this person achieved 112, which is fantastic because current global research is telling us that a rate of around 150 compressions a minute is delivering far greater survival in patients. And up here, the 99% represents compressions with adequate rate. And this is why this person scored so well in the software, because that is an absolutely crucial indicator. Over here, we have ventilation software feedback, which tells us that on average, this person was able to ventilate the mannequin with 484 mil millimeters of air um, with each ventilation. So that was about four a minute. And 67% of the ventilations were perfect, with 33% being slightly over or under, and none were over. So this person's performance was um, nothing short of wonderful. And I'm going to move the data on because we can see here all the compressions, the 30 compressions, and then we get to two ventilations. And if I move it on again, we'll see more compressions and ventilations, and that mean no flow time of five seconds. In fact, on some occasions, this person is achieving a no flow time of four seconds. That's the time going from the chest to ventilating to being back in the chest again. This is really powerful information. Every single participant on one of our quality CPR first day training courses will get feedback like this to help guide them to delivering better outcomes in training. And hopefully, in the event they have to deal with a patient who's suffered a sudden cardiac arrest, they'll deliver a fantastic performance. So thank you for watching this short video on summative data from a live feedback session. If you have any questions or would like to participate in any of our first day training courses, please go to our website at www qualitycpurfirstaid.com.au or contact us on any of the listed numbers on our website. Thank you.